大摇。Welcome back to MITV. I am Maria. This is Cowboy Thinker. If this is your first time watching MITV and I'm Dr. Thinker, consider subscribing. Then hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Get us on a thumbs up and share us out. Don't keep us to yourself and leave us a comment. That's how we get to know each other. Fire time and family. We love you all. I love you all. Today, you guys, I can't do it. I'm excited, cowboy. I can okay. do it. All right, I'm so today. Excited. Uh huh. But so <coughs> it's simple today: corn on the cob, rice, and beef patties, hamburger patties, Salisbury steak patties. Call them what you want, and as long as you call them beef gravy. <laughs> I got grilled onions because you already know. And I looked, looked, looked all over the refrigerator in the kitchen. He does not have any mushrooms. I didn't even have any intentions on cooking this. I was cooking hamburgers, but I was like, bump it. We're going to eat this. So, he don't have any mushrooms, guys. So, I'm going to bust on myself right now. And to drink, I'm having the rest of my Ohana. What you got? I got a frozy slush. And, you know, because I like my fluids mixed. I got this right here. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food about to receive your son Jesus that I know I asked you to give me amen. notice. You can't. I ain't gonna argue with your amen because I think that's wrong. Huh? Your glass is foggy? No. Huh. Okay, so hey. Did you go out the house today? Oh gosh. Fancy ass question. Yeah? Were you pass any stores? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, anyway, okay. you guys, let's mm. get some gravy on there. Y'all already know. You already know when that gravy get on there. Don't play. Don't even play. Mm, mm, then I'm going to pour just a little bit on that corn, too. She didn't give me no For mushrooms, y'all, really? because she considered herself putting me in punishment because she's the cook. No, I could answer that, but I'm not. And you guys, we got on our shirts that Big Belly Bob and Miss Shan got us. Hey, Google. Y'all already know. <laughs> hey, Google. On Saturday night. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now. Don't start with that straw. Good. Now, I'm going to get me a corner. Look at here. I'm going to have to wipe the table because I'm giving y'all some of this. With the gravy dripping, not with the corn string husk, but with the gravy dripping. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get a bizzy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. With my beef patty. It ain't a lot up here. Mm -mm. Sometimes you have to chill it out. Yank that straw. If it wasn't for that color, and I just yank it all over this carpet, I swear to you. Now, I'm telling you what's going to happen. Now, he didn't bring up the spoon, guys, so I got to slurp it up with this, you know, fork. Because he the one responsible for bringing the silverware and whatnot. And and you should have brought us something to get this. She didn't up. bring me no mushroom jars. So I never had to do <laughs> Whatever, you guys. I can't. We do have a topic. Can I get some great more gravy? You sure yeah. can, honey. No problem. You see how I handled that? Now, I could have went left. And some of my corn. I could have went left. I gravy on corn. You know corn. what I'm saying? But I didn't. That's what I didn't even go do. left. 
cowboys eat gravy on corn. Mm hmm Let me fix me a little plate, y'all. Yep, this, I'm telling you guys, I was literally just about to whip up some hamburgers. And then I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. I don't want any hamburger. I'm going to whip up some rice and gravy because guess what? It ain't nothing beat a good home homemade gravy. Mm -hmm. Now, let me give y'all some of that. Oh, I can't give y'all none of that without the onions on it. Hold on. Hold on. That's my fault. I was tripping. Put the onions on there too, you know. There you go. Look at that. Look at that rice. Simple meal. Simple meal. Quick, easy, budget friendly. <laughs> Y'all know it's budget friendly. Shoot, for real. I know some of you new people out there <laughs> saying, come on now, cowboy. We ran over to this channel. Because we know you give out some meat. Where's that, baby? There you go. Just for the new people. There you go. Oh, older people, damn. Y'all don't get done. You open up so, wide. Let me give let it to y'all. the cowboy boy there you go. shove some of his beef deep down in We about to get right in this, okay? Now, me and the cowboy was discussing tips earlier. When you go somewhere and you tip, we was discussing tips. Before you get into that real good, mm -hmm. can I get a napkin? It's on your side. You're in charge of them, right? Appreciate it. Now, continue. Anyway, tips. Now, first off, the first question is Do you leave tips? And when we ask these kind of questions, for the new people, there's never any judgment here. Your answer is what it is, because we all got our own personal opinion. But do you tip? Yes or no? And then, if you do tip, what do you base your tip on? Are you basing your tip on the service? Are you basing your tip on The, any the extra amenities that you get from going wherever you go when you tip it, you know. What else? I don't know what else. Or mm. if you don't tip, why? Mm. I thought of that. No, you didn't. Oh. That's why I said it. Okay. I don't say things. Oh, I why? Already said. Mm -mm. It's against my religion. It's going to be against your religion to have teeth in a minute. Now I'm telling you. Mm -mm, this gravy is. Marie. You know, and I say, with me, I'm a tipper. You have to be so bad for me not to leave a tip. I'm talking bad to where I had to ask for the manager. If I have to ask for the manager about your service, not the food, because that's not your fault, but the service, then nine times out of ten, you're not getting a tip. No, you're just not. I mean, I wouldn't even expect one if I, you know. So that's that. I got a little your tip. But what do you base the reason why you leave tip when you do? Now, 
my example is where I go to get my nails done because that's what we haven't been talking about anyway. My example is where I go get my nails done. I've been going there for years now, at least four, at least four years now. And yeah, because I was going in before COVID. And I've never had an issue. The lady I go to, she's always there when I get there. They're always professional. Um, it's clean. Uh, like, that makes a difference. And she does an awesome job on my nails. So she's definitely getting a good tip. I never have any problems there. Period. You know, you have to leave a deposit before you even can make an appointment. You got a deposit. <laughs> and that's just it. And they don't play that. They call you the day of and ask you, are you still coming? You say, okay, bam, boom. Okay, see you in gear. You get in. She said, okay, you're here to see whoever. Bam, boom, go wash your hands and go. She right at the table waiting. Do my nails professional. She asks questions. What do I want? If I tell her she can do it, whatever. Boom, boom. Love it. He asked me, well, how much did Who I asked think? Me? You asked me. Who? You. Who? Cowboy. He dressed me by my name. I will address you the way I want to address you. And you, you, let me tell you something. Okay, I'm trying to have a professional, mature conversation. I'm going to need you. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to need you to. that on my face? You, what? You don't know. Ooh, girl. Ooh, my whole body just did something. I just don't know. It just, ooh. You going to put that back in the hole? Ooh. No, see. No, I'm done. I just want to know. I mean, what you got to say about? It? You know, I will leave a tip, but unfortunately, no, they all don't beat up on me. I could leave without leaving one. You know what I'm saying? I pay forty five dollars for my haircut. Forty five. Wait a minute. Do they touch your face? Well, that's a haircut. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to cut something. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. They for my hair and my face. But even if they don't touch your face, it's still forty five. But well, why not get your face done? Maybe they don't need it done. <laughs> they ain't got no hair on their face. I don't oh, know. Okay. But anyway, I paid forty five dollars for my haircut. Mm -hmm. He went up ten dollars after the big C. Mm -hmm. Now, just my opinion personally, this is mine. And because it's mine, that makes it right. <laughs> we to judge that. <laughs> I think his tip is included in this $45. Mm. My son, now I go to the suburbs. My son go here in the hood. Pay twenty dollars for the same damn haircut. Now, Mr. said, "Well, it probably went up on prices because the supplies went up. You know, electric mm -hmm. bill went up, gas went up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or whatever went up. Mm -hmm. What about the person in the hood? He buy the same supplies as the person in the suburb, not unless he getting it from the black market or something." Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, $45 haircut. What's the most y'all have paid? Men. I'm not leaving. For a haircut. Any men in the chat, what's the most you'll pay for a haircut? See, me. Can I can have a piece of this? Yeah. I don't know why you made three. Because that was pretty thick. Then you're going to take the little one. But you were complaining.
see how she just took. But. No. No, they see how it's. They probably like it about time she started taking his. Wow, you just you take it every time. No, I don't. I said you did. I don't care what you said. You so childish. <laughs> we are with people. You know what y'all. Now, I'm getting back. Right. Do, do y'all leave them? Mm -hmm. You know, why? You know. <clears throat> Try to get some gravy. Now, mm -hmm. you know, do anybody out there feel that they ought to get a better paying job if they looking for me to leave a tip. Remember, it's your opinion. Don't be afraid to say it. And we know it's probably a whole lot of waitresses and waiters out here looking at us. It's you, not me. I never said anything like that. What? What you saying? There's a lot of waiters and waiters out there looking at them. Mm -hmm. hey, <laughs> Yo, sir. Yo, sir. There's probably a lot of subs out here I'm looking. Not, you know what I'm saying? But, that's what I'm saying. In life, we all got one. You know, a little waitress or a waiter or somebody who. Maybe you can explain to us. Yeah. Too. Who, you know, making a living off of tips. Right, say yeah. this is how it go yeah. and why it go this way. Right. Mm hmm Yeah. That would be awesome. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person I'm raised on if you don't ask no question. You know, a, cl no, a closed mouth can't get fed. So That's why got... I keep mine open. The throat gonna be open. Hmm. So... Put how you feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them onions. I got one more question for you. Mm. And if you leave a tip, do you do it off of a percentage of the bill? Or is whatever you decide to leave? Even before MR say something, <laughs> she does it off the percentage of the bill. You know, well, the bill is, you know, such and such. <laughs> right, because first of all, if I bill, I'm just going to throw $75 out there. If I bill $75, who about to leave just like a $10 tip? When these days, they done took the 10% sign away. That's no longer on the receipt. 10% is no longer an option. I think they done jumped straight to 20%. I, uh, it may be 15 some places, but it may be 15, but that 10% is gone. <laughs> oh, you're not going to leave just 10%. I mean, they, you know, because they tell you if it's this much, boom, boom, you know. So if, if, if it's, you got to leave a decent, a decent, you know, tip. Hmm. How many times? How many times do you think a waitress or a waiter should come check on you to get a good tip? Mm. I see. You. 
that's that's almost a tricky question because that depends on how long we've been there. What are we eating? Because let me tell you something. I done told the waiter. Like we good. You know, you ain't even gotta come back, whatever it is, you know. Okay, but well, well, they mean. didn't came, we okay. But I'm gonna just to throw something out. I think you should not see your server less than three times. For real. And I'm probably somebody would probably be like three, should I'm on like five or whatever, but you don't want them to just keep coming, you know. Well, you I need try to make sure. Refill. They should be on it, and they see them empty. Well, uh, well, that's coming back to the table. Well, how many times you? Well, I don't you know. know. That's why I'm asking. A lot of refill. Right. Look I at, never need a refill. Yeah, look at uh, I'm gonna use him for example. His his son Carell, for example. Oh, he put his government name out there like that. But yeah, he don't know no more. But he'll drink. <laughs> like five lemonade. They, right. So that dang it before the meal came out. Like what? Oh. He'll refill you, boy. He will. <laughs> yeah, so you know, huh? Well. Mm -hmm. And then, how long do you get a server? To come to the table when you first sit down mm. before they acknowledge you. What is your comfortable saying? Okay, that's you know, I can wait. Now do that that play a role in your in your good tip? How many times she comes no. or he comes? No, how many if, if they don't come, let's say you've been sitting down for five minutes and acknowledge you or something. Did that play a role in it or no? They just might be just super busy. So uh, now they're super busy. Absolutely not. How you know if they're super busy? I'm there. I mean, if the place is booked and it's a lot of stuff going on, I absolutely understand if you have to wait longer. Nobody should fuss if that place is booked and it's busy and you notice know and you have to wait. I didn't wait it when it's busy by about 15, 20 minutes. That's unacceptable. But not for the first trip. You know, for the trip back. It's busy. God dog it. Well, you they know. They got more tables than that. Well, she, they should have told you, though, when they came the first time. Like, look, it's real busy up in here. You know, it might be a minute before, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to make sure you that you're good right now, though. Right, because I didn't have... I didn't have a server bring two drinks before. Because it was busy. Like, I just brought two. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. You know. We just have to be honest. You got to know when to have patience when you go out to eat. And when the situation deserves to ask for a manager. You got to know when to have patience. Period. If you're going to go to a restaurant, you got to have patience. I got one more question for you. For me? Yeah. You see how we split that damn hamburger? Because mm -hmm. you only made three. <laughs> but the last corn, you just took it all. You didn't even ask me if we wanted if I wanted to split or nothing. Just who was the rest? No, you don't. What? You spoke on it? You ain't. And that ain't even half. That ain't half. That ain't half. Oh my god! Look at that. And then look at this. All that, that's gravy. Look at yeah. all that corn. No, that ain't half. Man, that is. That's, that's, matter of fact, it's more than half. No, it ain't. It's not, no. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And she want to wonder. Yeah, you better put it over there. Woo, you guys. This was good. Well, you guys. We ain't even about to go. You know, it's two things that the doctor and the cowboy have in common. And that's these hands. The doctor need them to touch all over you and examine you from head to the tool. <laughs> <laughs>
all in the middle, all around. And the cowboy need these hands to Ooh, ride that donkey. So if you ever in need of the cowboy services or the doctor services, just remember one thing and one thing only. Hands. It's my fault, y'all. You know that. Because I should already had a clicker outside. So of me. you I know, know oh, shit, right these hands here. is just a good thing to have for each and every one of you. These hands belongs just to you. Bye, y'all.